San Francisco 49ers are in the Super Bowl led by head coach Kyle Shanahan, architect of some of the best offenses in NFL history. This 49ers team has combined a unique running game with their usual success in the play-action passing game to create explosive plays and get their speedy playmakers in space as well as any team in the NFL. The Shanahan family has a history of success, most notably Mike Shanahan leading the 1990s Broncos to two championships. When the Shanahan name is mentioned in NFL circles, one of the first things to come to mind is the outside or wide zone play that has become the foundation of their offense. Let's take a look at the evolution of the Shanahan scheme and how Kyle has taken it to the next level here in 2019. The Denver Broncos have beaten the Atlanta Falcons 34 to 19. And they are back to T3. He's going to run for the first down and still on his feet. RG3 is going to outrace everybody. The Atlanta Falcons, NFC champions. The Super Bowl 51. Congratulations, 49ers. Super Bowl bound 54. We'll see you in Miami. The 90s Broncos popularized the outside zone, making a star of running back Terrell Davis while earning quarterback John Elway those two Super Bowl trophies along the way. The outside zone play is predicated on stretching the defense wide and cutting off the backside defenders and either hitting the edge or cutting up, not back, against the flow of the defense. Mike Shanahan paired with offensive line coach Alex Gibbs to implement this system that tore up the NFL. Gibbs believed that in order to properly run a zone scheme, it had to make up the majority of your run game, meaning all other run concepts must be pushed aside in order to master these zone concepts. You know, but that's all I do too. I mean, I, I, this is the whole system. I don't do anything else. I mean, he, he was really good. I mean, he, when he was at Auburn, I was at Florida, and he was one of the best then and he believed in the you know, outside zone, and we ran it to a T. And at that time, that's really all you had to do. One of the benefits of the wide zone scheme is the ability to change the box count by not blocking one edge defender. The early days of the play put the pressure on the quarterback to run boot action after the handoff, and if the edge rusher didn't respect the quarterback, the play action boot game was wide open. After a successful run as an offensive coach for the Houston Texans, Kyle joined his dad in Washington in 2010, and then in 2012, they hit the jackpot with RG3 as their rookie quarterback. This is where the next step in the zone game was perfected, as RG3's mobility was then used to make that unblocked defender wrong in the zone read game. Griffin went on to post the second highest graded season from a rookie quarterback in PFF history, and the league's linebackers and safeties were kept on a string by the outside zone game and play action off of it. And one of the reasons I think Robert was so successful, I think we ran three play action passes off the zone read, and he had almost 3,500 yards off those three passes. Most play action yards we've seen in the NFL since 2012 was your team, 20, 2012 skins. Well, okay. that's because everybody was playing to run. Yeah. They knew they had to play the run to stop Robert, and Robert got a, little big, a lot of big plays off of it. The Shanahan's had found a new wrinkle to their traditional zone scheme. Yeah! Fast forward to 2016, Kyle is in Atlanta and now he has Matt Ryan, the best pure passer he's worked with during his career. Ryan and Shanahan destroy the league in 2016 and Ryan put up some of the best passing stats of all time. It was all built off the outside zone and the play action game where Ryan had 458 more yards than any other passer in the league. So the Shanahan scheme, it's zone running, you can add a mobile quarterback, you could put him in the gun, you always have that great play action attack, but in San Francisco, Kyle has taken the system to the next level. How are they manipulating defenders now? With motion, more motion than ever before, jet motion with receivers, more end arounds. Using a wide receiver in motion at the snap is holding those unblocked defenders just long enough to open up creases for 49ers running backs. The other change, it's no longer just a zone system. Kyle may get kicked out of the zone running group text by adding these gap schemes, but this is the change that has made the 49ers so effective. They run more power, counter, and trap plays than any other time in Shanahan coaching history. And this is why the 49ers ran all over the Packers in the NFC Championship. Is he kicked out of the outside zone club? For, for expanding things? You kick them out? Well, Alex would kick them out. I promise you that. Is Alex not sending him a Christmas card <laughs> oh, anymore? Is that I done? guarantee you he wouldn't send him. Oh, I know Alex must, too well. He yeah. must be upset. <laughs> 
but the classic scheme has new wrinkles. Jet sweep off the outside zone action. Classic old school power play with down blocks and a puller. That same power look with an end around. Outside zone action with a reverse. Not only are the 49ers unpredictable, but they're also productive. They rank fifth in expected points added on zone runs and third in EPA on gap runs. Oh, how that play every time. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was crazy. It's the most unpredictable Shanahan run game in history, and it's one of the reasons they're in Super Bowl 54. Great drive, fellas. Great job, man. Hell yeah.